Hi right, guys, I'm back with another video. So, uh, I did that video on the UDS uh, yesterday, and some one of y'all were asked was asking me uh, about performance with it. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. <clears throat> one thing that can cause a performance drop is volumetric clouds. You can also try using the 2D dynamic clouds and those don't look too bad either. To give you a better perspective we'll put it on cloudy and uh, let's see let's try partly cloudy okay so see they do look a bit flat but they don't look too bad so if you want to go that route you can go with 2D dynamic clouds static clouds uh, those don't look bad either, but they do not move. Yeah, no, they don't move. So, uh, and those are, I think those are volumetric still. Yeah, those are volumetric clouds, but they don't move. <clears throat> so that'll save a little bit of performance if you want volumetric clouds, but you want to squeeze a little bit of extra performance out of it. You can also go with uh, the 2D clouds using colored curves. And uh, those look, I think, a little bit better than the 2D dynamic clouds. Well, not really. But they give you control over the color, which is cool. And then you have your volumetric auroras, which... Uh, doesn't really do much except at nighttime I, I imagine you can see them quite clearly so let's see <clears throat> so right now my scene is getting about 10 11 milliseconds let's see okay I personally don't see a difference in performance but I'm running this on a 2080 Ti uh, you may uh, be able to see a performance uh, increase uh, when you do that. Uh, volumetric clouds are more expensive than uh, 2D clouds, obviously. Another thing you can do is you can actually uh, go back into your sun and one, you can disable uh, distance filled shadows and that'll also give you a little bit more performance. It won't look quite as good on the shadows of your foliage, but it's something uh, that will give you a bit more performance. Also, you can try decreasing the number of dynamic shadow cascades down to one. Uh, that'll make it so that the uh, shadows up close don't look quite as uh, high res. As you can see, they look a little bit blurrier. The higher you increase this, uh, the more resolution you get uh, on your shadows, your dynamic shadows. So those will that will have a quite a performance uh, impact, as you can see. Um, I increased by one millisecond, or one to two milliseconds there, just by increasing it to four. If I reduce it to one, you can see it drops down. To around 9 or 10 uh, 11 at the most so you can clearly see a difference there in my performance when I do that and, and that's even on a 2080 Ti now this right here I uh, remember that when you the more you increase this the more stretched out your uh, shadow tex uh, texture is going to be across your landscape and you only have a limited amount of resolution at dy dynamic shadow cascade level one. So when you increase this, it doubles your resolution of your shadows. It triples it, and then it uh, it increases it by a factor of four. Each of those is going to be more expensive, so you can drop your number of dynamic ca shadow cascades down. And you can adjust this, but I don't think this is going to have a real big impact. It might. 
So let's just see. So at 20,000, it's at 13. Okay, I got about one to two just by doing that. But of course, you don't get no shadows. So it's up to you how you want your shadows, how far out your shadows, uh, how far out you want your shadows to go. But you can get more performance by decreasing that. And actually, I have a artifact there. I don't know if that's if that has to do with the fog. Let me see. Uh, it's R dot. Let's see. When you're working with cascade shadows, you might get stuff like this. I have a few things here written down. Yeah, so see, it went away. Um, yeah, so if you get those uh, artifacts with your uh, distance filled shadows, you can use this command right here, r.ao quality equals 1. By default, it sets it to a high value, and it can, and that high value can cause artifacts. But yeah, I had mine set to 10,000 on that, and I had my. Set like that so yeah it's uh, you're gonna get better shadows but you are gonna take a performance hit uh, when you use two shadow cascades and distance filled shadows as well so just keep that in mind uh, that's the mo the main thing that decreases performance volumetric fog probably has an effect on that too so if you type in volumetric uh, fog and you disable that you might get a little bit more performance out of it uh, I don't think volumetric fog has that much of an impact but those are some tips so if you found this helpful uh, let me know uh, because it's hard for me to uh, accurately test performance on my computer because I have a 2080 Ti and I'm not super familiar with uh, with the um, session front end yet so hopefully this helps you